Today on Hawaii Cooks, healthy cuisine and a healthy planet. Here's what's coming up. At the source, we'll visit an award-winning organic farm on the Big Island. In the kitchen, Roy is joined by Kathleen Dalemans, who prepares his healthy fried chicken. In style, a facility that recycles food waste into fertilizer. And Roy shows us how to make this Kona crab salad. Plus, master sommelier Chuck Furuya pairs wines with today's dishes. It's healthy cuisine on Hawaii Cooks. Sun Bear Farms, located in the South Kona district of the Big Island, is owned and operated by Harvey Sakharab. This completely organic farm gained recognition when Harvey received the National Conservation Farmer of the Year Award in 1991. Accessible only by four-wheel drive, the farm has attracted many chefs. And today, Roy experiences the relaxed atmosphere of the farm firsthand. We're on a hill. We're actually, uh, this, this slope we're looking at is uh, greater than 20 degrees. So we're actually the only, uh, you know, Food Security Act farm on the Kona Coast. Uh, that's farming cross slope on land that's uh, greater than 20 degrees. A lot of the grasses, especially up above, are intentional. To uh, we're always trying to prevent the soil erosion because being we're setting in a valley, so we don't want the uh, the soil to wash away down the mountain. So the terraces are part of that, and a lot of times the vegetation on the sides of the terraces uh, help hold the dirt in place. You know, you have a lot of different things growing out here, but what what is that right there? Uh, that's a red salad bowl lettuce. We grow them as babies. Uh, they also call it red oak appears in a lot of the salad mixes and that sort of thing so we we grow them up small we're going for color and texture on those my main focus is the baby lettuces and then we also grow the large uh, green leaf and red leaf mm -hmm. lettuce we try to stay on the cutting edge with the varieties so sustainably you know we work on building the soil um, by doing that we get less soil erosion because the, uh, the rain will filter through better because the, uh, the land is actually fluffier. It's got more uh, aeration. It's really important. Um, and then the, the soil fertility is maintained and the soil stays in place. The plants grow better. The food tastes better because, you know, we have more of the minerals and the amendments that the plants are looking for. Um, and there's no pesticides and herbicides used here on the farm. So we always come up with a, you know, an alternative way of pest control, uh, staying away from the chemicals. We don't use, we've never used them. We, we never will use them. Every time we have a pest problem, we look at specifically what type of problem that is, what type of pest is uh, giving us the problem. We look at the numbers in the field, and when we decide that it's a problem or we want to prevent it, then we look at biological control. So we, we look at that sort of thing. So we take each one as a case study, and one by one, uh, each insect or each problem that we have, and try to solve it in a way that is uh, you know, beneficial to all of us and is not harmful to the environment, we won't get into the water system, that sort of thing. So yeah, historically, uh, you know, this was the old taro lands. The dryland taro grew really nicely here. It was beautiful. We grew lots of it. And we had the white pineapple that we backed it up with. But we really couldn't make a living. It just wasn't economical enough. And then um, about two years ago, the Hawaii Regional Cuisine Group had an agricultural field trip up here. That was really the turning point. You know, we got one-on-one -on -one with the chefs. We asked them what they wanted to see, what sort of foods to grow. And we got a lot of really solid ideas, specifically, uh, looked at some of the products they were bringing in from the mainland. And uh, so now we're able to grow the same products here on, on the Big Island. Um, so the revenue is being kept locally. The trade people are getting the food uh, fresh as they can get it. And there's no poisons or herbicides or anything in the environment that they're growing. And that's real important. The food's real clean and it tastes good. And uh, that's what these folks are looking for. This is the uh, keiki area down here. Uh, the, all these is where we do the starters. Uh -huh. Um, we found that by using the plug agriculture, uh, growing our lettuce uh, as individuals, here, take, take that in your hand, take a look at it. You, right there you have a four week old plant. So if we go into the field with a four week old plant, we're four weeks ahead of the weeds. So you just actually have them uh, seeded here and then wait four weeks and then you plant them later. Exactly. And that really helps with the, uh, the conservation of our space and the best use of our space because their whole nursery cycle, the first four weeks is spent here on the tables. And if we look around, you know, you can see we have our, you know, a whole quarter of our field is right here on the tables. Oh, wow. Yeah, real efficient use of the space. Now, this lettuce is? Uh, this right here is the, the green leaf lettuce. Uh, these are about four weeks old. Uh, we'll put them out in the field. They'll probably spend about seven weeks, six weeks in the field. They'll get good size. My goal was always to uh, orientate myself towards food production. It's something I've always enjoyed. 
and um, even deeper, you know, we've gone beyond soil conservation and actually participate in soil building, soil amending. We add the uh, natural amendments and try to actually make the place better uh, than when we first came here. When we leave it, it'll be in better shape. Today our guest is Kathleen Dalemans from the Wailea.